Ah, it's so nice and lovely today. Oh, I didn't see you there. Hmm. Well, this is puzzling, to say the least. That's why I always sit down before looking up at the sky on the third day of bug summer. Wait... Where's Bugbo? He said he'd be here. This isn't right. He'd never miss Wrecking Ball Day. Hmm. Dear pesky insects, your precious Bugbo has been taken captive by none other than me. <laughs> If you ever want to see your precious pal again, then it's up to you, and only you, to find me. If you do not find me within 12 bug hours, then you can say goodbye to your beloved mini-beast. Unkind regards, your arch nemesis. <laughs> oh, Grub, this is really bad. Bugbo's in danger. We gotta call Hoppo right now. Hoppo, we need your help. Bugbo's been bugnapped. Sorry, I'm a <laughs> Well, Joe, looks like it's up to just you and me to stop this mystery man and find our friend. My timer strikes bug zero, your time will be up, and my nefarious plan will be executed successfully. Hooray! How interesting. If your friends arrive in time, they'll be forced to watch you go splat. Goodness gracious me. And if they don't, you'll perish alone, knowing your so-called friends never cared to find you. Oh no, that just wouldn't do. You see, everyone. True friends stick together and help each other out no matter what. Those without friends have no one to stick to, and in turn become bitter, spiteful lunatics with only selfish goals. Quiet, you troublesome creature! If I didn't have such a genius foolproof plan, I'd activate the device right now and destroy you! Okay. Well, we've searched all over the globe, but no sign of Bugbo. Oh, Grub. The only place we haven't checked is... Ooh. All the way up Mount Bobo, which is so steep, it'll take bug days. If only we had a red brother. Oh, say the red brother! Whoa, who are you? The red brother! Hello. It seems you two need my help here. Take this mushroom, it will provide you a safe passage to the summit. Goodbye! Wow, 
What could this mean? Ooh, various items. But which one to choose? Hmm. Whenever I have a problem that needs solving, the first thing that comes to my mind is, what would Gradient Joe do? Wait, no. That's it. What would Gradient Joe do? Will he choose A, the ladder, B, the snake, or C, the grappling hook? Let's find out. Are, are you sure? Okay, I trust you. Wow! You're a genius, Joe! My purpose has been served. Well, what bugs around grubs around, I guess. Look, a secret lair! Bugbo must be in there. Well, here goes. Well, well, well. It seems you two have fallen directly into my trap. Now it is time for me to unleash the bees. Bye, bees. Bugbo. Is it really you? Right as rain, Spider. Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Not uh, so fast, Bugs. Who are you? What? You don't recognize me? Well, perhaps this will jog your memory. <laughs> That's right. It was I, Thomas Flyswatter, once again. You thought you could get rid of me last time, but I'm back. Joe, who is this strange man? You're very peculiar, whoever you are. What do you mean? It's me, your arch nemesis, your familiar foe. I don't recognize you, I don't know who you are. Ah, humbug! Or should I say, humbug? Because now that you're here, I know you humbug well. You three have the privilege of seeing my device in action. This giant fly swatter will swap this fly like an orange in a juicer. And then I will finally have my revenge. Revenge! But why? Why are you like this, Dr. Fly? Well, you see, when I was a young man, I was a minimum wage employee at Swatter Incorporated, a factory that specialized in the creation of pest-killing implements, such as the Fly Swatter. It was a dangerous environment, that much everyone knew, Everyone, except me. Nobody warned me about the dangers of the conveyor belt. On one fateful day of making fly swatters, I tripped and fell onto the conveyor belt in front of me. I couldn't get off it. It sent me directly into the mouth of the fly swatter maker machine thinking, I went through the worst torture you can ever imagine. I was crushed, routed, and spun around really fast. After the machine was done, I came out of the fly swatter. I was permanently changed. And from that day onward, I've despised Bugbo and wanted to make him, and all bugs like him, pay for what he did to me. And there you have it. That's why I am Thomas Flyswatter! <laughs> well, I'm sorry that happened, sir. But that doesn't give you the right to be rude. You should listen to Gerbo, mister. Why should I listen to an eight-legged fool? <laughs> what are we gonna do? He can't be reasoned with. He's a monster! Wait, I have a plan. But you have to do everything I say. Do you understand? You may have bested me fair and square this time, Bugboo! But mark my words. I'll be back. I'll get you. I'll get you someday. Sorry, pal. It seems you've swatted your last fly. Oh, oh, oh. 
You and I are so different. Join me. Together we've accomplished so much. You and I, Bugbo. Come on, guys. You and I. It's not my fault, Bugbo. It's you. I'm not the one this bug world. You are the real villain here. You. If you kill me, you'll be just as bad as me. Well, if you kill me, you'll never know the truth. Well guys, I simply cannot thank you enough for rescuing me from that forgettable fiend. What was his name again? I forgot. Okay. I'm just glad it all turned out A-OK -okay in the end. How do you feel, Joe? Profound. We did so much today, Bumbo. We went all around the globe looking for you. Quite impressive, yes. For that, I'd say you are deserving of a reward. One gold star. Yay! But of course, today's ordeal could have been prevented had you been more vigilant, so your reward is null and void. However, you did in turn learn a valuable lesson. Really? What was it? Tell me! Togetherness...